is so depressing. Anyway, we're finally into our summer holidays under one weekend. And, um, what was I saying? Where was I going with this? Oh yeah, we're one weekend and as I promised, I'll be posting more frequent videos. So, today's the first one in the summer holidays anyway. And I've got so many more videos planned and hopefully, and hopefully you'll um, enjoy them. As you've guessed by the title down below, this video is about rock painting. I got inspired through Pinterest, as usual, and um, I was just going through Pinterest and I got like loads of like pictures of like rocks with like different kind of, you know, like drawings and paintings on them. And I was just like, you know what, these would be so easy to recreate and I think it would look like perfect around like any sort of room and it'd just make it look more Pinteresty. That's the word, I use it a lot. But, yeah, so I think it just, like, I don't know, it just adds, like, this whole, like, artistic kind of aura to your room. Go with it. So, I hope you enjoy this, and let's get started. Yes, this setting is new because I'm in Leicester for the next few weeks instead of Derby, as it is the summer holidays. Um, so, let's just carry on now. Huh? So, these are the six designs we are going to be recreating. Three of them are in colour. And the other three are black and white, but obviously these can be switched out. You can do this on any type of rock or stone as long as it's got a smooth surface, as that makes it so much easier to paint slash draw on. So with that, I think we should get started. As I got my rocks from the beach, I had to clean them with soapy water. After that, I let them dry and then I started with the painting. For the first rock, I did a geometrical design. I started with a thin layer of white paint and let it dry for 20 minutes. After that, I drew on some geometrical shapes and made sure I left some gaps in between. I then coloured each geometrical shape in black. I then used a fine liner to give the edges a more crisper edge and used a white to give even gaps in between each shape. I then repeated all the steps with some blue. I also made sure I drew fewer blue triangles than the black ones. For the second rock, I started by painting a thin layer of black all over the rock and leaving it to dry for 20 minutes. I then started doodling all over it with some silver paint. I used a combination of swirls, dots, lines and teardrop shapes. After I let that layer dry, I went in with black again, just to give it extra dimension. And that's it for the second rock. For the third rock, I started by drawing seven hearts on a line, each for a colour in the rainbow. I then made the outline thicker and made sure the edges were neat and crisp. I then painted each heart according to the rainbow colour order. Some colours needed a extra layer such as red, yellow and blue. After that I went in with some black paint and drew over the outline. I then went in with black and white to give it extra detail and to make it look better. For the fourth rock, I was inspired by the mandala design, so I used a white pen to draw radiating circles going outwards. I then painted each one of those with a shade of pink or orange paint. You could use any colour you want and it could depend on your bedroom colour or your favourite colour. After drawing larger circles of pink and orange, I surrounded those with smaller circles of white. I then used a white pen to add extra details. The last two were the easiest for me. All you have to do is doodle on top of a rock. For this one, I used black ink and went 
and drew a flower on a cir circular rock. As the last rock was grey, which is a dark colour, I used white just to add to contrast. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, I enjoyed making these so much and I hope you tried them out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all soon, bye! Um, I normally am busy so, anyway, I can't do this, ah, uh, Yeah, anyway, hi! I mean, let's get started. I'm a confused cow. What the hell?